hitching a lift in a farm vehicle able to get through roads that are now waterways, Daniel is going home. But the flood has changed everything. It's just devastating, isn't it? You don't think water can, a bit of water can cause so much devastation. But yeah, it's, it's uh, not good. You can feel Daniel's pain when you look at these photos. He and his girlfriend had only just bought and decorated the house. And it was all in readiness for the arrival of baby Indy. She was born in hospital on Friday just as the flood began to hit. Now the new parents are staying with relatives for the foreseeable future. It's a surreal moment having a baby anyway and then to be told your house is flooded, it's just not great. Spent a load of money getting it all ready for Indy coming and then obviously it's all ruined before we've even managed to spend one night in there with her so yeah a bit of a shock. This kitchen uh, we didn't really have a lot of time to get anything out of cupboards. Get the Some of the couple's neighbours have stayed put against official advice wanting to protect their homes and businesses. Among them John uh, who still got seen, family photos appeared. of the last flood here more than 80 years ago. Oh, right, yes. That's my uncle Terence. Oh. And this is the house we're in now? Yep, yeah, yeah, that's where we are now and that's where they lived then. Since this picture was taken in the 1930s yeah. these houses have been fine. Yeah, never been touched. Every 10 minutes your emotions are changing. You want to blame somebody. You want to sometimes you just want to cry. You just It's just changing all the time. And people have been here before us, like I say, people have been here after us, but until you've experienced it, it just, it just rips your life apart. The RAF has been helping to bolster flood defences in South Yorkshire, and this evening heavy duty pumps will be brought in to the village of Fish Lake. The Environment Agency says a month of rain fell in just 24 hours onto ground already soaked from an unusually wet autumn and there are more weather warnings in place for later this week. Peter Lane, 5 News.